Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be looking for art supplies. We'll get everything that you need to start. Um, if you want to do tutorials with me, I'll get I'll have the list of stuff in the description box, but I'll just show you everything that you need. So let's go in. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is probably some canvases, and I suggest that you start off with something pretty small. These are 12 by 12, or a good size would be 11 by 14. So. It's a student paint, but they're really good paints. Usually, as you can see, like they're 50% off. Um, they're pretty big tubes. These will last you for months if you get one of each. And I would suggest, um, just to start off with, you only need a few colors. You'll need like a titanium white, a black, um, a phthalo blue, an ultramarine blue, a uh, red, raw umber, and uh, a yellow, a medium yellow. So with those colors, you can mix almost any color that you need. You might want to um, add in maybe a, let's see if they have it, a quinacridone magenta. So those colors would do, I'll put a list of those in the description box so you can have all of them. If you want to get more colors, you can, but you don't need to. And then we have paintbrushes. So, as far as paintbrushes, I wouldn't spend too much money on paintbrushes right now. You just want to get like a variety pack of like flats, rounds. Um, they have a few different sizes in here. Uh, you might want to get some filberts. Um, and then on the back, what I like about these packs is it gives like a description of what each of the types of brushes do so you can kind of see which brushes to shade with which brushes to sh uh, do straight lines with stuff like that so they all have that on the back and i really like that they do that now each pack of these they range in price from about seven dollars up to about maybe like 10 bucks or so but they'll last you a while um, and like I said, they have a variety of sizes and shapes. And, um, for the smaller canvases, you won't need really big brushes. So these sizes are pretty okay for the size canvases that you, you want to be using. So, yep, that's those. Um, the, the brands are Master's Touch as well, or Fine Touch. They're Fine Touch. So I use these. I do use some bigger brushes because I work on bigger canvases, but for right now, you don't need those. Okay, also you'll need um, maybe like these little spray bottles, It'll, they're good for wetting the canvas to make the water or the paint uh, go more smoothly on the canvas. These are about uh, $2.49, you get two little bottles like this and that'll last you for a while. I'm actually going to get me some of these, so I'll keep this. Um, and then you have palettes, now they have a lot of different palettes. They have some wood ones, they have some plastic ones. I've tried both and I don't suggest the wood ones because the paint seeps into the wood and it's hard to clean. The, pal the, the clear ones, the plastic ones, would probably be a little bit better but they're not very big. So um, what I like to use is less messy uh, or is the palette paper. So it comes in like a little pack like this. It's about $10, but it'll last you a while because these are bit, pretty big sheets. So you would use the, you put your paint on there, you'd mix on there, 
and when you're done with your painting session for the night you can throw it out so it's easy to clean up i really love these i need one of these too um also they have these syllable palette boxes um and what you would do is uh you'd open it up these are about twenty dollars but they're worth their weight in gold you would open it up, you'd squeeze some paint into the little sections here, and then if you have paint still in there when you're done with your session, you can seal it up and it'll keep the paint wet. It won't dry out and you'll be able to go back and open it up and then start again the next day even. So it'll keep your paint wet for at least 24 hours. So it saves you on paint. You won't be throwing stuff away next we have like um this is not necessary to start off with but later on you might want to get a set of palette knives now you can paint with these you can mix paint with these for different techniques um i love my set i got a set just like this uh, over a year ago and i love these palette knives they have different sizes different shapes and it's all you really need and it'll last you for a while so these are $11, but they're worth it. They're, they have really sturdy handles, um, and you can get a lot of good techniques out of this, a lot of good uh, results out of these. So you might want to get those, or if you don't know if you'll like them or not, they have these plastic ones. Now, I don't know how long these last. They're $4. They have a couple different sizes. Um, they should be just fine starting out if you want to just try them out to see if you like them. Um, and if you do, you can go ahead and buy the other more professional pack. Okay, and now we have um, pastel pencils. Now, I use these for uh, sketching on my canvas and stuff like that. You can use this or you can use chalk pencils, you can use watercolor pencils, but you don't want anything that's going to um, like uh, tint the, the canvas. So these are really good for that uh, when you use the lighter colors and stuff like that to sketch with. So that's what I use for those. Those are about $5 if you, for black and for the assorted colored ones, they're about $8. So. But you can also buy just regular chalk, like kid chalk, and that works just fine too. Okay, and last but not least, we have tabletop easels. Um, I have a tabletop easel like this one. Right now, they're 50% off. Um, these are really good. They have, you can adjust these up and down for different size canvases. Um, and right now, they're about $15. They're on sale for 50% off. Um, I like these. Um, you might want to get a floor stand one too. They don't have any here, but uh, Blix has really nice ones that usually they have sales going on and stuff. But for right now, these will be good. You could either get this one. They have one that's more of a, like a triangle shape. Now these are only $8. Oops. I'll pick that up. These are only $8, but what I don't like about them is that they don't have, like, um, a piece here to keep the canvas snug inside of the easel. So, the other one is better, I think. But if you just want to go for the price, this one is $8. And it should be just, it should be just fine, but I don't like that it doesn't, you have to hold on to the canvas as you're painting or it's going to fall off. Those are all of the supplies that you need. Again, they'll be in the description box. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. You can email me. All of the information will be in the description box. And I hope to see you in my tutorials. Bye.